Today I'm going to show you how to design shirts like Broken Planet. Broken Planet is best known for its earth toned garments with climate crisis themed designs. The London based brand is now going global, rapidly becoming one of the biggest names industry wear scene. Enough talk, let's go. Yo, what is good Stixon, your boy from Intuitive Designs. For this tutorial, we will only be using the brush tool in Photoshop. There is no special effects or anything like that. The only catch is you need to practice a lot to master this technique. Right, so just like usual, the file size is A2, which is 4961 pixels times 70, 16 pixels at 300 dpi. Now, I've pre-selected the colors that I'll be using today. These colors are extracted from this Broken Planet shirt design. You can choose your favorite design from them and then do the same. Or just screenshot this video and then copy everything that I do. Now, here I've got two stock photos from Unsplashed, which will serve as the base of today's design. The concept is this magnifying glass being held above the moon to kind of solar ignite it. Just a random concept that I've come up with to go with the broken planet theme. Now just drag and drop these photos into the working file. Let's set the blend mode to screen so that it overlaps with the moon photo. Now is the part where you size them up or rotate them to the placement that you like the most. After that, what we're going to do today is basically using the brush tool to paint over these images, creating original designs. So create a new layer, command G to group it. Let's rename the group to magnifying glass because we're going to start with that and rename the layer to mid tones. And then using the color picker tool to select this shade of red here, make sure that the brush is hard round pressure size with 100% hardness and also 100% for both opacity and flow. And I'll just start brushing over it like this. The key is not doing it perfectly because we want to achieve that doodle look, which is good since the standard isn't that high, so it's really easy for most people to do. Now I'm going to move on to the lens section. Same thing, just brush it over like so. Then next, I'm going to add a new layer and then rename it to shadows. And this time I'm going to go with this darker shade of red and referencing the shadow area of the magnifying glass photo. So let's start right here. Same thing, just trace the shadow area. Now I'm using a smaller brush size to refine the edges so it's not too obvious that I'm using a mouse and to draw these drawings, which is something that you don't want. So keep that in mind. Final step is the highlights, same steps, new layer, select the lighter shade of red and then trace it like this. You can always refine the lines if you really want to, I guess, you know, if you want to make it perfect. But yeah, that's essentially it. We're going to do the same steps to the moon as well. Nothing fancy, you know, just a lot of brushing, stroking, and tracing. This is what I meant earlier. You need to practice a lot, at least initially, to get used to do this kind of designs. So don't be lazy, guys, because trust me, you can seriously make money off of this technique. Either you do it for your own clothing brand or you do it for a client. You're not going to lose in the end, trust me. Next, I'm using the yellow color for the solar rays. Again, same step, just brush it in dashes like this. However, there is no reference for this one, so I'm just gonna wing it. After that's done, you can reposition these elements to your liking. If you like the way it is, then just leave it. Final step is the text. I'm gonna go with out of this world as the headline. So adding a new layer and then just brush it like this. Again, guys, this is why practice is important, you know, because right now I'm randomly painting it without reference and surprisingly, I'm doing a pretty good job. So yeah. Now, if you haven't noticed it already, Broken Planet's aesthetic is heavily inspired by Cactus Plant Flea Market, which is another streetwear label that's even more established. Now, what's this on part is their ethos. You know, they use muted colors, so a lot of earth tones and, um, you know, their design philosophy revolves around sustainability and, you know, stuff like that. 
but that's just the design department right obviously they're also doing a lot of things right to get to this far as a brand we're pretty much done now guys i'm just refining some of the lines right now and filling in any empty spaces that i've missed earlier let me wrap it up real quick and then show you guys the final result That's all for today, guys. Like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this. Let me know in the comments which other brand that I should cover next. See you on the next one.